Another software package you're going to need to download and install this semester is DaVinci Resolve. Um, if you just search DaVinci Resolve in Google, it's going to come up with blackmagicdesign.com right here. And we're just going to click on that. So DaVinci Resolve is a video editing software, and there's both a paid and free version. And for our needs in this class, we're going to be able to use the free version. So if we just scroll down a little bit on this page, you'll see the download now option. Um, it's going to give us a couple of options here. There's an, a slightly older version of 16.28, or there's the newer version of 17. And then this version that says Studio, that is the paid version. And so right now, we, we um, all we really need is DaVinci Resolve 17. We're going to hit Windows. It's going to ask for some information, um, mainly so they can put you on their mailing list and contact you. Um, and by filling that out, it's going to allow you to get the, the download link. So once you have that, we're going to right click, go to 7-zip, or if you're on um, Linux or a Mac, you'll have to use a, a different zip extractor. And we're just going to extract this um, where we're at. It's a pretty large file, it's about two and a half gigabytes, so it's going to take a little while to download. Um, once it's extracted, we can just double click on the executable. And, be, and again, because the file is so large, it's going to take it just a few minutes to, to load. So again, it's going to extract it. And once it's open, we will see an option right here to install. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave all of this, uh, all the default options checked and hit install. And wait for it to install all the necessary features. You may be prompted throughout the installation to um, to click next so we're just going to click through here accept our, accept our terms and license agreements hit next and I'm just going to install it on my C drive that should be fine hit install to complete the installation you're gonna to have to restart the computer um, for right now I'm not going to start my computer just so I can show you that if we go here and type in Resolve, we'll get DaVinci Resolve. And it will actually probably launch without having to restart, even though it will probably run better if we restart. Um, so here's a what's new uh, section. And if we just hit continue, the software will open. Um, you may have to allow access. This is basically just allowing it to um, reach out. Uh, we recommend that you back up your existing database, but we'll just go ahead and say upgrade because I don't have an existing database. And so now we'll see that DaVinci Resolve is open here. And we'll learn more about how to use this program a little bit later this semester.